Welcome back. If you are looking for something to do this weekend, a mid-state man wants to make you laugh. It all started in his backyard, but it has really grown over the past few months. Thomas Johnson is the man behind the backyard comedy show. He is here to tell us all about it. Thank you so much for being with us here today. No, absolutely. All right. So first, tell me a little bit about what this show is. Well, it was something that all started pretty much during COVID. Yeah. Uh, when COVID hit, comedians didn't have any, they didn't have an outlet at all to perform. They didn't have an outlet to do anything. And people needed to laugh. So I was in my backyard one day just hanging out and I looked at my backyard and said, you know what? I could possibly turn this into a small venue. I put something together, had about five comedians. I had maybe about 30 people show up and it all started from just that first show. And, and, and it has really grown and we're gonna talk about that too, but I, I was just really fascinated with the story behind that. This, yes. you, you just decided to put this in your backyard. What was it about comedy that, just, that you thought, you know what, this is what we need to do? Well, I did stand up for a while. I knew a lot of comedians. And like I said, the internet stuff doesn't work for every comedian. And I've seen some comedians just suffering a little bit. You know, they, wanted to, they needed the outlet to get their comedy out. And like I said, people needed to laugh. So I pretty, it was a no-brainer. Like yeah. I said, I looked in the backyard. I built my own stage. I hired people, and it, it worked out 10 times better than I would ever have imagined. That's, that's so interesting. And, and you think about all the different industries, of course, that were really affected by COVID. Yes. But I, you know, a stand-up comedian, you kind of need an audience. Absolutely. And with everything Absolutely. shut down, it doesn't quite work when you're just standing up there or talking to yourself, like you said on the internet. Right. You don't get that, you don't get that feedback. And as someone, you, you said that you were a stand-up comedian yourself. Yes. You know, Talk about how important it is to have that Look, instant feedback. To get that immediate feedback is a lot. I mean, you can have the biggest joke ever and say it in front of a phone and you don't know what happened. We feed off of the energy from the crowd. So the crowd is a huge thing. And I knew just having something as small as in my backyard, them just getting the feedback from the crowd would have been huge to them. And it, and it was like they, they loved it. They loved it. So. Do you have a big backyard? Like, how did, how did, yes. how did this my, work? My backyard was actually not as big <laughs> as it should have been. Uh -huh. Now, since then, I was able to graduate, and I'm sure we're going to discuss that, yeah. but I was able to graduate the backyard. It was an average size backyard. I just needed to give the outlet to people, and they made it happen. The people made this grow, not me. Yeah, so you, you started this thing in your backyard. Just talk a little bit about why, you know, we were in the middle of COVID. We were in the middle right. of lockdowns. What is it about comedy that you thought was so important to get out there at that time? People just needed to laugh. I mean, they really needed to laugh. People needed a breath of fresh air. There was so much depression. Uh, a lot of people were locked indoors. People even had COVID. I mean, they just needed an outlet mm -hmm. to be able to laugh. And I was happy I was able to, number one, provide a location, provide comedians, and also give that back to the community. And they were grateful as well. All right. So that started about two years ago. Yeah, that started were... in 2020. Okay. So... It has grown since then. So yes. let's talk a little bit how that's grown. So you had that you had that backyard show. Were you were you surprised that people turned out for this? No, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Initially, like I said, I'll just put a Facebook post out. Hey, look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And to, to have 20 or 35 people show up for my first show was amazing, especially with it being in a backyard. It wasn't a, a legit venue or anything like mm -hmm. that. I was able to set it up, bring your own chair, so people yeah. were able to socially distance how they wanted to at the time. I had sanitizer. I had masks. So it just worked out. And. You're no longer in your backyard. No, so let's talk about no. that. What, what, what has happened since then? Uh, since then, I was able to meet uh, Gary Gilliam, and he introduced me to the bridge, which is the old McDevitt High School on Market Street. And I now have the old football field as my venue. So <laughs> I don't have to worry about packing people in my backyard. They have as much space as they want to socially distance. I have food vendors, enough space for everybody to laugh and have a good time now. And that's the thing. This has really grown. It's more than just a comedy show. You said you have, you have opportunities for local businesses. You have food vendors yes. and things like that. Talk about the show tomorrow. When is it? Yep, the show tomorrow is at 7.30 p.m. And it's going to be at the Bridge, 2200 Market Street in Harrisburg. And then how, uh, how many uh, comedians do you have? For, for comedians tomorrow. I have five comedians performing tomorrow coming from D.C., Baltimore, and Philly. So it'll be a good time. Absolutely. So, and, and what does it think? What does that mean to you that this has grown so much for the community? It, it means a lot. I mean, because it was never for me. It was for the community. So I'm happy that I'm able to give this back to them. Like I said, it was never about me. So, like the people made this grow. Definitely not me. Fantastic, Thomas Johnson. Thank you so much yes, for being you. with us here thank today. You. Good luck with the show again. That is tomorrow at the Bridge in Harrisburg. Yes. Good luck with the show. Hope everyone comes out for that. And that is going to do it for us here on this abbreviated edition of ABC <laughs> 27 News at Noon. This week in Pennsylvania is coming up next. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs>